Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you three free plugins you can use to add social media buttons to your WordPress website. So we're just going to jump right in and head over here to the left and click on plugins. And once we get here, we're going to click on add new. And the first plugin that I want to talk about is by Ultimately Social. And if we go over here to where it says search plugins and we type in social media share buttons, that plugin will pop up right here and it's called social media share buttons pop up and pop up social sharing icons. This is a really good plugin here. As you can see, it's got over 5,000 reviews, 200,000 active installations. And I'm just going to install that right now. Then I'm going to click on activate. And now I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. And if you ever want to access it, it's just going to be right here on your left sidebar. So the first thing we need to do is click on this. Which icons do you want to show on your site? Then this is where you would pick which ones that you want to show up on your website. And so I'm actually going to unselect these. And then if this pops up, you can just click deactivate. And then I'm going to select Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Pinterest. And then once you have the ones selected that you want, you can keep scrolling down here and you can go to save. Now we can go to number two, which is what do you want the icons to do? So if you want people to be able to click on your icon and then visit your Facebook page, you could select this one. Or if you want it to just be a share button, you can just either select one of these. And if you did want this one right here, all you would do is enter your Facebook page here. So I'm just going to select this box right here and then I'm going to type in my Facebook page. I'm going to go down here. You guys can do the same thing right here. All you do is put your link in for your Twitter account. Or if you want it to just be share buttons, you can just select one of these. Same thing here. If you want them to visit your page, you can enter your YouTube page here or enter your username and they can subscribe. And same thing with this one here too. And then after that, we're just going to click on the save button. And sometimes this plugin has a lot of different pop-ups like this. You guys can just ignore them to scroll back up. And then after that, we're just going to click on this number three where it says, where shall they display? And then we're going to select, you guys can select any of these ones that you want, but I'm just going to put, select this one here. Then I'm going to do on the top left. You can choose whether to have it show up on mobile or not. Then I'm also going to do it here where it says show icons after post. And you can choose whether you want responsive icons or original icons. You can also edit these right here to make them say whatever you want, but I'm just going to keep them as the default. You can go down here, you can change the icon size. I'm also going to keep that stuff default. Then I'm just going to come here and click on the save button. And then if we go up here and open our site, you'll notice there's our social buttons right there. And also if we click here, on our post and scroll down to the bottom. After someone's done reading it, you'll also see the share icons right here too. And if you guys don't like the design or the animation on those buttons, you can go to this right here, number four, and click on that. And there's a ton of different options that you guys can choose from. And right here is the animate them section where if you put your mouse over it, it will actually either fade in or scale or you can do both. And if you make any of those changes, just make sure you go here and click on save. And if you want the display counts displayed next to your buttons, just go here and click on yes. And you can enter the numbers in here manually if you want, or you can get the number of likes from your blog or the number of likes from your Facebook page for the Facebook button. Then you can also go here and if you scroll down, you can choose whether or not if somebody clicks on one of the icons, it opens in a new page or not. 
And if you want the icons to scroll down with your page, all you would do is just click on yes here. And then again, make sure you just click on save if you make any changes. And there's also a couple more features here, like number seven, and number eight, you guys can check out if you're interested. And then the next plugin I want to go over is called Add to Any. And if you go up here and search for that, you'll see that plugin right here. And it has 500,000 plus active installations. And I'm just going to install that one right now. And click on Activate. And if you decide to switch your plugin, make sure you deactivate your old one before starting the new one. And then the Add to Any plugin is going to be located over here in the settings. If you go down here and click on Add to Any. And then once you get here, you're just going to go where it says Add and Remove Services. And you're going to select all the buttons that you want. So I'm just going to unselect this email. Then I'm going to add Pinterest. And then I'm going to add LinkedIn. Then I'm going to come down here. And right here is where you're going to select where you want the placement of the buttons to be. You can choose the bottom, the top, or top and bottom. Then you can also decide too if you want them to display on all these pages right here, or if not, just unselect them. And then after that, you can go down here and click on Save Changes. If you go up here to your site, you'll see that your buttons are right here now on your post. Also down here at the bottom. And then if you want these buttons to be floating too, you can have a separate section where they float on the left side or right. You can go over to the floating section and then select where you want it. For example, left dock. And you can choose to hide on mobile screens or not. And same thing here with the horizontal buttons. You guys can choose the placement of that if you want. And then you can click on Save Changes. And then if we go back here and refresh this, you'll notice that you have the Share buttons here on the side too. So now if you scroll down, you'll notice the buttons just sit there and they float down as you go down too. And this is a good plugin if you're just looking for share buttons and not so much ones that link to your actual social sites. And then the third plugin I'm going to go over is called Sassy Social Share. So if we go over here and search for that, that's going to pop up here. And I'm going to install that. And click on Activate. And then again, if you go over here to the left sidebar and click on Sassy Social Share, it'll bring you to this page. Now this one looks a little more confusing than some of the others, but trust me, it's pretty easy to use because most of the stuff you can just keep as the default settings. And so under theme selection right here, this is where you're going to select how you want the standard interface theme to look and then the floating interface theme to look. And so the standing interface theme will be all the stuff in the post. And then the floating interface theme will be the stuff that's floating over on the side of our website over here. So you can choose what shape you want for this. Pick any one of these. Select this rectangle. You can pretty much keep all this stuff right here. If you guys want to have a counter position anywhere, left, top, right, bottom. If that specific social button has that, it'll show up there in those specific spots. Same thing with this. Just configure your settings. I'm going to choose a rectangle. And that's all you need to do right there. And click Save Changes. And we're going to go back up here where it says Standard Interface. And this is where we're going to select what icons that we want to show up. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to get rid of a couple of these because there's a bunch of them already selected. So I'm just going to keep those three, but you can keep as you can put as many of them as you want right there. And if you want to rearrange the icons, you can do that right here. And then once you have those ones selected, you can scroll down here. 
And since we're up at the standard interface, this is going to be all the stuff that's going to be located in our posts. So you can choose wherever you want the position of everything to be. I'm actually going to leave it at these default settings here. I'm going to scroll down here and you can see it says either it's on posts and pages. You can also have it show up for the home page or any of these other different categories here. If you want it to show the uh, social shares, you can go ahead and select that. Or if you want it to show the total shares, you can also do that too. And after that, after you have everything configured the way you want, just click on Save Changes. And some of this stuff right here, if you just click on OK and agree to it, they'll all go away. Then we're going to move over here to where it says Floating Interface which again will be the stuff over here. Then we're just going to select the social buttons that we want here. Maybe for this one, I'll switch it up a little bit. I have Instagram. I'll keep WhatsApp. Then I'll add YouTube. I'll keep this like that. I'm gonna put the YouTube at the front. And if we scroll down here, pretty much the same thing as the standard interface stuff. And switch the background color by just putting the hex color code in here if you click on these little icons right here they'll show you like it says spec specify the color of the hex code so whatever color you want you would put the hex code color in right here and that would be the background color for it you can choose where you want the alignment to be i'm going to keep it on the left then I'm going to keep these right here so the placement shows up in the home page, the post, and the pages. And again, like I said, anytime if you guys don't know what any of these different things are right here, all you have to do is just click on this question mark button and it will show you exactly what it means. And so after you have that done, click on Save Changes. And there's some other boxes here you guys can go and check out, but that's all you need to do actually right now to have your social share icons pop up. And if you go up here, open up our page, you'll notice there's our icons right here. And if we go to our post, there's our icons right there. And again, if you guys wanna go and change the shape of these, you know how to do that. Just by going back up here, theme selection, click on square, make these square. Save that, refresh this to see how that looks now. So if you want them smaller, it's that simple.